Thursday, everybody, or Thursday evening. I am Tim from Ski Rex Media. Once again, going to do a little bit of a weekend overview as I've been doing. Are you going to ski here with us in Vermont this weekend? Some of you are, some of you aren't. If you're watching this and you aren't, that's a little weird, but thank you for watching it anyway. And if you are watching it because you are going to be here this weekend, or if you're here every day like I am, then thank you for watching as well. Everybody, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, all the support for the Ski Rex Media. What's it going to look like this weekend? Well, let's start with the weather from yesterday and the day before. It was snowing all over the place. Um, I got six inches over two days here at the HQ. Um, mountains were reporting from anywhere, from the south, one, two, three, four, five inches down there, uh, five, six, seven inches, eight inches as you're going into the center of the state and up north towards Jay and Burke. We're talking five, six, seven inches, maybe eight and then uh, Killington was the big dog. They got a foot, uh, just about a foot, I think. Yeah, they got a foot of fresh stuff, real snow. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. Got to work on the muscles here a little bit because I was shoveling out there. I mean, it was fluffy, so it wasn't so heavy, but I had a little bit to do. I had a good, good, good amount of area to do. Um, but here's the suck about it. If you didn't get it yesterday, today, maybe even tomorrow morning, if you can get here on Friday... Um, the weather this weekend is going to turn to shit and I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to put it straight up like that. It's going to be shit. There's going to be rain and there's going to be warm. Now the warm isn't so bad. If it gets into the fifties, the snow can hang around and that's great, but it's going to rain with it and it's going to turn all this fun stuff into shit. So that's what we're looking at for the weekend. We're all crossing our fingers, praying to whomever we need to, doing the old Tebow bit. I'm not going to do that. Um, but we're doing it, whatever it takes to try and get the snow, doing the snow dance. If you have a snow dance or if you ride the trail snow dance at that mountain, I'm not even going to tell you what mountain it's at, the one I'm thinking of. You can guess it. Absolutely. Take a guess. Put it in the comments. Email me. Guess. Snow dance. Where's it at? Some of you already know. Um, but... Here's how it's looking. Now, again, these overviews start with the research from Thursday. So this is what it looked like today. So we know that this is about where it's going to be this weekend. But again, with the shitty weather, be stay tuned and remember to bring your, you know, your your make sure your stuff is waterproof or you bring an extra poncho or get the garbage bag ready. So we still have some of the guys, some of the mountains out there that aren't don't have a lot open yet. We have Magic and the Middlebury Snowball and Suicide 6 right up the road from here. They're all in the 10s, 12 trail range. That's what they have open about. So they might take a little bit of whooping if this rain comes and starts wiping out snow. Um, then you have Bromley down in the south of the state. They're up in the 20, num in the 20 range. That's where they are, 20 plus trails. Um, and then we have um, the center in the north of the state. Now you have Bolton Valley and Mad River Glen. You're talking center, center west. Um, and they're in the 40s. Mad River Glen, ski if you can. Now's the time. Get it right before that gets wiped out. Um, they're at almost 100%. They're about 46 trails out of like 52. So they, they're, they're close. So get it if you can. You know That's what that means. They say Mad River Glen, ski it if you can. Now's the time. Go get it. And Burke up north in the Northeast Kingdom, they're running in the 40s. Um, Mount Snow is still in the 50s. My old home mountain, Mount Snow, still in the 50s for trails, but looking good. Um, the first mountain you hit as you come up, if you come, actually, it doesn't, really doesn't matter. That's the first one you would come to unless you come up the New York Thruway and keep going past Albany. Um, and keep following I-87 up to head over, to cut over wherever you cut over to get to 7 North, to 4 East to Killington if you go through Rutland or whatever. See, aren't I awesome with the local knowledge? Uh, Smuggler's Notch, 60 plus. J Peak and Stratton. Now you're talking two extremes. J Peak way up north, Stratton way down south, both in the 70s for trails. So they're doing pretty well. Okimo with 85. Okimo just down over there. I'm pointing right at it. You can't tell, but that's south. So that's where it is in good old Ludlow, Vermont. And they're running 85 trails. And now you have... The last three mountains in the state that I haven't talked about that are open. Ski Queechy, um, again, right around the corner from here, has been closed. They could open again, um, but they're a little tiny thing, and I don't know if they're going to be able to. But for what's open, you have Stowe at 98. You have Sugarbush at 111. 
That's friggin' awesome. And then you have the big dog, of course, Killington. Shout out to my brothers and sisters over at Killington on the other side of the state, as I mentioned, coming up seven to Route 4. Killington is at 134 with Pico having another 41. So between the two mountains, you're getting 170 trails plus. So that's pretty good if you're going to go out there. I'm sure a lot of people are. College week is ending there this, uh, this weekend. It's over. Bye, college kids. But we'll talk about that more in a minute. So with the bad weather... You can see where you're going to want to go. You're going to want to go to those high-end mountains. Those, And by high-end, I mean more trails. They've been able to pump out more snow. They got the most snow with the natural. So those are the places you're going to want to head. Now, with shitty weather, you might need something else to do. And, of course, we talk about what's going on over the weekend. And this is what we got going on. So tomorrow night, um, well, tomorrow during the day and tomorrow night, um, the 10th, January 10th, Friday the 10th, got a few things going on. If you're going to be at Bolton Valley, you got Eggy at the James Moore Tavern, live music for you. Again, like I said, live music at all these pla- a few of these places every weekend. Um, as I said, the Killington College Week is coming to an end, and you have the Killington College Week Hangover Yoga, and that should be tomorrow morning. I believe it's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Go to their um, Facebook, Twitter, their webpage, all that to figure out the uh, where to find out the actual details of all this stuff. But I think that's at 9 a.m. And if some of you college kids partied like it was Animal House, then you might need a little yoga to recover and then make that drive home. Um, yes, yoga rhymes with toga. Make your own joke. That's why I went with the Animal House reference. You have Yuri C. at the Snow Barn at Mount Snow if you're into that DJ scene. And then Cliff Mountain Days at Stratton. Cliff as in Cliff Bar. And that's going to be running all weekend. And they got all kinds of stuff happening. Um, They have a pop-up shop. They got stuff they're sponsoring all over the place. It's going to be Cliff Bars everywhere. So if you're heading to Stratton, keep a lookout Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You might have a Cliff Bar come flying at your head. Either duck it or catch it and eat it. Um, Some of their flavors are actually pretty good. And part of this, um, let's see, is the... Where is it? Ah, Eavesdrop. The band Eavesdrop at Grizzlies at Stratton. And that's going to be part of that. Cliff is going to be there as well. Um, at Grizzlies at Stratton. Nice place. I, I've, I've had a couple in there, and I, I kind of like that place. Um, let's see. What else we got? Also down in the south part of that state, at, south part of the state, right up the road from Stratton. They can see each other. There's Bromley. They have the West End Blend, more live music. Um, also the Midwetter, Midwinter Ramp Up Telemark Clinic. Um, that's both the 11th and 12th. So if you're a free healer and you want to try and get some clinic time in, go to their websites and uh, their website and social media pages. Check that out. Find out all the information you need to tune up your telemark skills if, you, if you're into that. Um, Opera Ski in the Bear Den with the Trichomes at Burke. More live music. That happens there every single Saturday through the season. Always a different band, so you'll be hearing about that here. Plus, if you follow them on their social media, you're going to hear about it there as well. Um, what we got here, more music, Cat Wright and Jill Sachs, the snow barn at Mount Snow. I've said this before. I've seen concerts at Mount Snow. I've very, I've enjoyed them. I love Mount Snow. In fact, I should get out and see more concerts. All this live music every weekend with all these ski mountains here. I should go there. I need friends. You know, I might not be able to get out on the hill, you know, yet. Bum knee. But I can, I, I can stand to see some music. I like a good concert. If you want to go to a concert, let me know. Tell me. I'll, maybe I'll make a night and we can go. Just, you know, pick your mountain. Um, what do we got? I said eavesdrop at Grizzlies. You got the grift at the Castle Rock Pub at Sugar, Sugar Bush. See, more music. And then it's Sunday. The uh, the events start to die down because people are going home and we don't have a holiday, although another holiday weekend is coming up. So at Suicide 6, now this one I like because of its tagline. More flow, less bro. The women's only workshop over at Suicide 6 in Pomfret, Vermont. Not not, not 20 minutes up the road from here. Maybe 20 minutes up the road from here. Women only clinics working on skiing, snowboarding. More flow, less bro. I love it. That's one of the greatest things I've seen all day. So if you're a lady and you want to tune up those skills a little bit, head out to Suicide 6. Um, also for the little ladies, for the little ones, we have Wild Skills Junior Ski Patrol. That's at Bolton Valley. If you're over there, drop your girls off for a day camp. They're going to learn a little bit about what the ski patrol does and how to do it. So that'll be cool for them. And then up at Burke, they have the Sunday brunch at the View Pub, which they, again, every weekend, every Sunday to the end of the season. Um, so there you go. That's what's happening around the state. Take a look at everybody's daily condition report. Like I said, this is an overview from Thursday, and we know that's going to pretty much be the same through the weekend. 
Who knows what they can get out with the snow guns before the rain and the warm weather hits. Be careful if you're coming up in that weather because some of the higher elevations that, you know, might be a little messier than it is down in the valleys like here. Even though, like I said, we got six inches over the last 48 hours. A place like Killington over north of, you know, higher up. Like if you're coming through Rutland and Killington's up here, you know, it's going to get uglier as you go up the hill. And for those who go to Killington Pico, you do know that. Um, so be careful, be safe, prep your car with your rain gear and your boots because you might need them. All right, so that's a quick look, quick overview of what's going on around the state of Vermont. If you're visiting, thank you for coming. We enjoy the company. We love you all. I do especially. I love all you guys. Thanks for coming up. Um, I've had a good time meeting people from around the country and around the world coming to Vermont to go skiing in the Green Mountains. So... Thank you for watching. If you did, obviously, if you hear me saying this, you did. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, which you should do. Thank you for putting a like on the video, which you should do. Thank you for sharing the video, which you should do if people are coming here and they want a quick overview. I know it might be kind of silly in the days of social media because you can just put up, you know, hit that, like, hit their like buttons and their follow buttons and boom, you have it right in front of you. Also, I'm going to send you there. But if you do watch this and you need information and you can't get it and you need me to get it for you, you tell me. All right, you leave comments, you 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 do the email links at ski skirexmedia.com. You go to skirexmedia.com or down in the description you find every way to contact Ski Rex Media. You need to know more about something, you can email me, you can write to me, you can comment on me. The phone number might be even in there too somewhere and you can, you know, give me give me a shout and I will get you the information you need. Um Aside from that, have a great weekend no matter where you are. If you happen to be one of the guys out west who follows Ski Rex Media or one of the girls down south that follows Ski Rex Media or one of the ladies locally that does or boys or whatever you are, whatever you're doing, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting Ski Rex Media. Like, share, subscribe, all that. And I'll see you out there as soon as I can get out there. Or maybe, like I said, if you're going to a show, maybe I'll meet you at the show. See you out there. Laters. Later.